Hey guys, this is question MM121 of the Maths Methods Fortify Study Guide. So we've got this equation, 2 sine of x on 2 equals negative 1, and we need to find the general solution of the equation. So the first things first, we need to recognize how to actually find the general solution of a sine, uh, sine equation. So our general solution for a sine is uh, x equals... 2n pi plus uh, inverse sine of a or x equals 2n plus 1 pi minus inverse sine of a. Now this should be on your formula sheet. If you're coming up to exams, this should be on your on, uh, in your theory book uh, so that you have this here because they can be a, a bit difficult to remember sometimes. So where we're going to go from here is just sub in our values. So in this case, our x or our angle is actually x on two. So we need to replace this x with x on two, which means we get x on two equals two n pi, that just stays the same, uh, plus inverse sine of a, where a is gonna be our value of this side. Now, before we actually work out what a is, we have to get rid of this two on this side because uh, the general solution is only used when you only have sine on one side. So we're actually going to be able to manipulate this. Now you can do your own line of working for this, but this is basically going to become sine x on two equals negative one half. So what we're going to have in here is negative one half. Awesome. Or x on two, because remember we're replacing our, uh, our angle with x on two. It was two n plus one pi minus inverse sine of negative one on two. Fantastic. So what we're going to do from here is actually get it into a form that is easily digestible. So we're going to evaluate this here, which means we're going to get 2n pi. Now, the inverse sine of negative one half, according to our unit circle, is negative pi on six. Now, if you're not too familiar with that, this is the time to go back and look at that um, because this is really important for your exam and keeping in mind that this is a non-calculator question um, shown by the, the crossed out calculator icon. Um, so you just got to be really mindful that you need to be able to do this in your head. So um, from here, we go or x on 2 equals 2n plus 1 pi minus uh, inverse sine of negative a half, which as we said is negative pi on 6, which means we're doing take away negative pi on 6, which means we're plusing pi on 6. Sweet. So from here, we're going to get x by itself, which means we want to times both sides by 2 means we get 4n pi, take away uh, pi on 6 times 2 is pi on 3, or x equals 2 pi, that side of 2n plus 1, uh, plus pi on 3. Let's get rid of this, it's a bit weird. Sweet. So this, guys, is our general solution. So this is your first mark here, this is your second mark. It's a little bit hard to say where the marks come. Um, you could either get a mark for each of your answers or you could get you know one mark up here for this whole line of working and your second mark down here uh, but either way if you do just do all of this you'll get all the marks regardless so that was part a guys part b we're looking at uh, finding all the solutions for x in the domain negative 2 pi to 2 pi so i probably should have left our general solutions there but that's okay you'll have them there um, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to sub in values for n to try and figure out what uh, our x values are. So um, let me just, sorry, let me just write this down again because I should not have gotten rid of that. It might be good to have it up here regardless. x equals this and x equals 2 pi, 2n plus 1 pi uh, plus pi on 3. Fantastic. Awesome. So now what we're going to do, we know that x has to be between... Um, negative 2 pi and 2 pi. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sub in values for n until we exhaust all of our answers. So because the answer, sorry, because the question says hence, we need to use this in our lines of working and we need to use that to, to figure out our answers. So I always start with subbing in 0 for n. So if I sub in 0 for n here, I'm going to get x equals 0 take away pi on 3, which means x equals negative pi on 3. Negative pi on 3 lies between this domain, which means that x is equal to negative pi on 3. And that's a, that's a correct solution for us here. 
if I sub in x equal, sorry, n equals zero here, uh, I'm going to, sorry, this should not be here. I'm going to end up with uh, two pi plus pi on three, which means it's going to be outside this two pi range, which means I'm not going to be using n equals zero in this equation. The next one I'm going to try is uh, n equal n equals one, um, but I know because I've done this question that that's not going to yield the result inside the domain because this one is going to be going to be four pi, so four times one times pi minus pi on three, which is going to be outside our domain. Uh, and this one's going to yield a result even bigger than when n was zero. So now I'm going to go backwards and sub in n equals negative one. Now, if I sub in n equals negative one here, I get negative four pi, take pi on three, which is outside my domain. And if I sub in n equals negative one into this one, I get two pi, two times negative one is negative two. So negative two plus one plus pi on three which means we get negative one. So negative two pi plus pi on three, which is equal to negative five pi on three. So our answers, x equals negative pi on three. Oh, actually, let's put it in order. <clears throat> x equals negative five pi on three and x equals negative pi on three. So this is your final answer. This is your second mark here. Your first mark comes when you get x equals negative pi on three. Uh, and that's it guys. So that's part B. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Uh, but apart from that, have a great day.